All right, so what I'm going to be doing here is basically testing the parasitic load that the car puts on the battery when it's not running. I want to find this out to make sure that this car doesn't have any outstanding issues that the battery would cover up by having a larger capacity than the bank of capacitors. So to do this, it's very simple. I disconnected the negative terminal from my battery. And what I'm going to do is initially just hook it up with just a jumper wire and I'm going to cycle the ignition Then what I do is take and attach my multimeter in series with the battery on the same terminals, just like I did with the jumper wire. And then what I'm going to do is remove my jumper wire so all of the current is now flowing through the multimeter. And I can see that right now I have 1.6 amps that are being drawn from the battery. It's really important when you try to do a parasitic load test that you leave the car sit because the computers in it have a tendency to turn off. And you can see that's what's happening right here. So we're down to a little over 200 milliamps worth the load and we're going to leave it rest for a little while and see how much lower it goes. The other reason that I had originally hooked up that jumper wire is because when you disconnect the battery, some cars, I ran into this on a 2016 Isuzu, the computers won't reset until after the ignition is cycled, so it will actually have a higher amp load um, until you cycle the ignition. Over the course of 12 hours, I had about five times the normal draw because I had never turned the key on. And the reason for using the jumper wire here is because with the running headlights on here, it has a tendency to pull more than 15 amps and it'll blow the fuse out of the multimeter. So just a couple things to watch for. What I will probably do is just set it to record and data log it and come back in a little while and see what the amp draw is. Alright, so it took about 20-30 minutes area and we are down to 11 milliamps of parasitic draw while this car is just sitting here. You can see how important it is that you don't just put a multimeter on the battery and immediately look at how much amp draw you have because it will give you a false reading. Thanks for watching.